shared with each other, please to, to drop your names in the chat group and introduce yourselves. We'd love to see who you are, which country you're from, um, and just have everybody be able to see the richness of this beautiful group of people that are with us today. Mm. Milk tank streamed now live on Facebook. Nobody mentioned that. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Thank you. <laughs> well, it, it will be. I, a, it will be. I was supposed to be the one who should mention that. But yes, I did not I, know that I, you live in Melbourne. I, I, I am kind of used to this. So every webinar goes on live on Facebook. So that I, I forget to, I forgot to talk about it. So. Mm. <laughs> but I, I must say it will be an interesting Facebook stream because with, with breakaway rooms, you don't see anything. So mm -hmm. we'll see. But for the sake of, for the sake of um, just being able to also review how the workshop went, I think for, for our own team, it's useful to have, to have that kind of collective information. So, Marta, I love your background. It's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. I'm based in Amsterdam. So, ah, <laughs> so it could be real. <laughs> it's actually the photo that I took here in the Netherlands. So, <laughs> oh my word. It's, it's just, unfortunately, I don't live uh, surrounded by tulips, but the photo is very real. You know, this is the wonderful thing about Zoom is actually you can pretend. So you can go anywhere you like in your meeting and have uh, the other thing about Zoom, I must say, is, is um, this function where you can improve your appearance. I'm quite scared about what uh, real life meetings are going to be like. Nobody will recognize us anymore. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Hi, Rufara. Lovely to have you on the call. Hi, Robin. Nice to see you. <laughs> Hi. So um, for those who are just joining, please do pop your names onto the chat group uh, with your country, where you're from, um, just so that we can get a sense of who's in the room with us. We have had inc an incredible <laughs> response. Um, I'm always astounded by the the response to these invitations into conversation with each other um, and the diversity of response um, and also just yeah the numbers because to have I think we've had for this session over 140 people um, RSVP to join us which is such a privilege and such an honor to be in a room with you all and um it's from everywhere. So on the continent of Africa, uh, I see Victoria's with us again from the UK. We've got people from Germany. Also, we've got, we've got, I don't know if she's here yet, but um, Carla from New Zealand is joining us. So literally a completely alternate time warp zone. Um, and thank you. It's beautiful to have everybody with us. So perhaps we can pick on one or two people just while we're waiting for the remainder of, of everybody to join and just ask you to please say hello to us um, and uh, just let us hear your voices. So Jamila. Jamila, would you like to just yep. say hi? Let us see Jamila. you. I'm so sorry. Hi, uh, Jamila from Tangia team member of Let's Team uh, Community Foundation. Beautiful, thank you. Uh, <laughs> Rosie, can we hear your voice? Uh, yes, so I can work the mute. Hi, everybody. It's wonderful to be with you. I'm Rosie. I'm based in the UK. I'm in London at the moment and part of the Weaving Lab community, amongst many others. So, yeah, delighted to be with you all. Oh, fantastic. Thank you. That's really lovely to have you here. Um, I'm going to pick on one of my friends, Mariette. Good evening, everyone. Mariette Maverick from Pretoria, South Africa, and wonderful to be on the call. Thanks, uh, Robert. <laughs> Thank you. Bilal. I don't, 
<laughs> Bilal, would you like to introduce yourself? He seems frozen. I think he maybe, maybe. Let's hear from you, Eric, since we had some correspondence. Thank you. What would you like to hear? I just, can't sing. Just, I can't sing. <laughs> Come on, try. <laughs> um, yeah, what do I say? Uh, welcome, happy to be here. What's my connection here? Karima and myself have been in um, regular contact over the last yeah, few, few months, I would say. And then I saw this event and thought, yes, this is right up my street. I primarily work in the corporate field, uh, cultivating healthy organizations. Um, but to be perfectly honest, I'm more interested in moving into the field of education as well as what I'm doing. It's not an either or because that's where it all starts. So that's why I'm here. I'm here to learn. I'm here to participate in interesting conversations. I'm here to listen and, well, let's see what happens. Fantastic. Thank you, Eric. Yeah, it's the place to be. Hey? The number of people who move into the education space out of really diverse places, um, it's wonderful. So I think let's give ourselves another two minutes before we kick off. Um, and for those who've just joined, please, we would love you to put your name into the chat group, your name, the country that you're from, uh, just so that we can see who's in the room with us. Um, and in a few minutes, I think we'll kick off and introduce our wonderful, wonderful guests um, who are gonna be running our workshop for us tonight. So Karima and Louis and the Tamkeen um, team. Let's have two more introductions, two more voices on the call before we do that. Um, so Deborah, can you, I, I can't see if, you, if you're there or you, uh, you're at your computer, I'm hoping you are. If you want to just Hello? unmute and introduce yourself. Yes, hi. I'm Yusuf. I'm 19 years old, I'm from Morocco. Hi everyone. Lovely to meet you, Yusuf. Thank you. Um, and Carla, let's hear from Carla all the way from New Zealand. Everyone, uh, good morning because today is Saturday already here in New Zealand, 6 a.m. Nice to meet you. Uh, probably you are uh, surprised why someone from New Zealand. Uh, that's because uh, I met with Robin yesterday and we had a fantastic discussion. Um, I am... Um, the founder of Domitila Technologies. Domitila is a company based here in New Zealand. And our mission is to leverage the education uh, about artificial intelligence for school students, for young people, and also for non-technical people. I am a specialist um, in the area of artificial intelligence, machine learning, I'm working more than 15 years in this area. Uh, and I have two kids. Um, uh, 16 years old and a 10 years old. And I know how important, especially for these uh, younger generations to be aware about the fantastic new technologies, but also about the risks uh, because uh, of social media that are based on recommendation systems and algorithms and so on. So my mission is to leverage this education and also develop the talent uh, about AI, blockchain, new technologies globally everywhere. Because uh, not just at a personal level, but a country level, we need to be prepared uh, for the changes that are coming. We need to develop the right skills, the, develop the local skills. Uh, so we, we help our community, our cities, our countries, and we uh, open opportunities for, for everyone everywhere. So that's myself, my um, Carla Taboada, please reach me. Uh, I will write my um, uh, information on the chat. Totally, totally happy to meet you today. Beautiful, thank you. Thank you so much. And just one super last, one very last introduction. Let's ask Shadraka. Uh, hi. Uh, can you hear my voice? We can. And uh, you should be able to see me now? We can. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, about 10.30 in the night and I uh, uh, have a trip coming up for the festival in two hours time. And uh, what a lovely way to uh, greet Diwali by listening to all of you. Uh, I'm really happy to be here. 
and I look forward to uh, engaging with the Tamkin Foundation, bringing their work to India. I've uh, been talking to a number of my friends here, and I'm super excited to be here. Thank you. That's amazing. So thank you for those intros. Everybody who's new to the room, please pop your name, the country that you're from, onto the chat function. We're going to be using the chat function quite a bit this evening. Um, and at the moment, I'm going to now stop with the, the in-person intros, and I'm going to ask Aziz if he could please welcome us formally into the session. Okay, uh, thank you, Robin. Uh, good evening, everybody from Morocco. Good morning from New Zealand. <laughs> well, you know, uh, it's really uh, in amazing to have people from different parts of the continent. Uh, this is a workshop organized by uh, Africa Voices Dialogue in collaboration with uh, Louis Klein and uh, Karima Kadawi uh, from Morocco and Louis Klein from Germany. I am really happy to be with you. It's uh, Africa Voices Dialogue started, of course, as a platform for African educators and learners to provide voice uh, for everyone. And uh, at the same time, try to connect educators to other educators around the world. And I guess that's the spirit we have today. And uh, it is really impressive to see all of you coming from different places of the world, as I said. So today's workshop is entitled Community-Based Learning Ecosystems. You know that uh, the world today uh, feels like it is compelling to have to reinvent learning and reinvent education and try to see uh, learning in with different lenses. Uh, we uh, are happy to try to uh, discover and explore what that means with uh, Louis and Karima and Robin. And with all of you, uh, Louis and uh, Karima are going to facilitate this workshop, but this workshop is for all of you and it will uh, run with uh, everybody who is uh, present today. So I'm pleased to be with you and happy to be with uh, all these people. Uh, and maybe just a few words about Louis. Uh, I will present Louis Klein and then Robin uh, is the uh, uh, prize person to present Karima. <laughs> so Louis is the Dean of the European School of Governance and Secretary General of the International Federation for the Systems Research. Uh, he is an internationally recognized expert in the field of systemic change and complex project management. And he was awarded the inaugural research prize from the Inter International Center for Complex Project Management for his work in promoting systems thinking, cybernetics, and action research. He earned the seat on the board of the World Organization for Systems and Cybernetics. He also has had, held a VP position with the International Society for the System Sciences. And uh, well, that's all I could find online, but I know that there is more uh, to explore about uh, Louis Klein. I, I would like to thank him so much for accepting to be with us in this free workshop uh, from the bottom of my heart. Uh, I'm really grateful to you, to you Louis, and uh, to Karima too. And uh, uh, I'll give you the, uh, whatever it is, the microphone or the floor, Robin. Go ahead. Fantastic, thank you. So thank you so much. And yes, wonderful, um, wonderful to have both Louis and Karima facilitating this workshop. They have an incredible wealth of experience very practical experience in terms of evolving community-based uh, learning ecosystems. So Karima Kadui is the most wonderful woman, um, one of my very favorite people um, who I've come to regard as yeah, just a like-minded soul. And um, Karima is the co-founder of the Tamkin Community Foundation for Human Development in Morocco. They have been doing spectacular work for just over a decade, I think, Karima. And um, her work is, I'm not going to go into her quite, her, you know, illustrious history because I know that's not what she's about. So Karima is really about empowering the voice of, 
of others and empowering communities and um, creating spaces for community action to happen and for people to step into their own sense of being and power. Um, so we met earlier on in the year. In fact, quite a number of us uh, in, in this setup met earlier on in the year and it has been just the most spectacular journey of um, really finding each other and finding how it is that we can share um, this particular belief system about how change happens, which is not top down and it's not around policies, it's around creating potential for human beings to step into their own power. Um, and I am absolutely thrilled that Karima is, is presenting this workshop with Louis today and also that their entire team is with, well, most of their team, I don't know if it's their entire team, but many of their team are with us to, to share their own experiences. What um, I would like to ask now before we move into the formal workshop is if we could please pop again into the chat function, just a word, um, just the word that springs to mind when I ask you this question, which is, how are you coming into this, this meeting with us today? It can be a color, it can be a feeling, it can be anything you like, a single word into the chat function. Beautiful. This is the one thing about about Zoom. It's it makes it it's it's difficult because we don't necessarily we're not physically in each other's presence, but um, the ability to really gain input from each and every voice is there. It's just different from how we would usually do it. Fantastic. So while those chats, while those one worders are still coming in. What I would now like to do is to hand over the session to Karima and Louis and invite you just to share with us your reflections on community-based learning ecosystems and then take us into the workshop. Thank you. Thank you very much, Robin. Um, community-based learning ecosystems um, may be something a scientist can look at, but it's not about science. So this is why the scientist has, a scientist has to start a workshop to get out of the way. And uh, on the one side, because it's not about the science, it's not about, not even about the words, it is about the experience of the learning in the community that we are going to look at and that we are going to experience today. Nevertheless, it may be helpful to have a few remarks about community-based learning ecosystems from the perspective of system sciences, complexity sciences, to get an idea what may, what may a perspective to, to find where the journey about relearning or reinventing uh, learning starts. When we look at ecosystems, we should acknowledge that ecosystems do not come with a value. Ecology is the science of coexistence. If we look in, into an ecosystem, we, we see a lot of things um, coexisting at the same time, being interconnected, and interdependent in their existence. And that is what an ecosystem makes. It doesn't, it doesn't uh, live up to a quality where we say, oh, there are ecosystems in the world and that is good and there are, there are parts in the world where there are no ecosystems and that is bad. In fact, there are no, there's no such thing as no ecosystem. It is a reminder to acknowledge the embedment in context, the embedment in the interconnectedness and interdependence, and have a look at that to start with, if we look at learning. And that leads us to acknowledge that learning is not education. Being taught is not learning. Learning is nothing that is confined in the school. 
Learning is something that happens all the time. That starts as soon as you come to the world. You learn, you learn to walk, you learn to talk, not because there's a teacher, it is not because there's a book you take, uh, <clears throat> you pick it up from, because you're immersed in a community. And that community teaches you, no, it enables you to learn, learn a language, learn habits, learn all that we refer to as culture. You are born into it and you learn it. You cannot not learn in a community. And that may, for the one or the other, shift of perspective to, to realize that learning is inevitable. And as soon as we recognize it, as soon as we acknowledge that, we can approach learning in a different way, especially the learning and community. We can, we can acknowledge in the community their, their capacity or its capacity to, to facilitate the learning of everybody involved, to facilitate the individual learning towards the one end or the other end. We can even go as far as to acknowledge that a community has the possibility to not only facilitate the individual learning, but also the co collective learning. So not only being a co community in itself, but a community for itself. So if we then speak about something like a learning community, we may go back to the reference of the learning organization, a community that learns to be a community. And in that learning to be a community has a poss possibility to decide, to agree upon what is a more desirable learning and what is a less desirable learning. And I'd like to be brief and end on one, as I, as I find very, very important distinction, the distinction between learning and understanding. And to go back to the, to, to the example of a, of a language. In our mother tongue, immersed in the community we grew up, we picked up the language and we immediately learned and understood how to express ourselves. We go to learn what we call a foreign language. We go through in a, an explicit phase of learning where we learn the vocabulary, where we learn the grammar, where we step by step learn to express ourselves. And it all seems so such a complicated learning. But there is some point, I assume that the most in this call here are not native English speaker, it's my mother tongue is German. But at some point, the learning flips over to the understanding. We understand the formerly foreign language, and we are we learn we had learned and we had we had learned and came arrived at the at the point where we understood where we understood the language, which enabled us to express ourselves in the language. So learning a language is the phase towards the understanding, which enables us to express express ourselves in that foreign language. And the same holds for the community. Learning to be a learning community is one thing, but to understand what it means to be a learning community, what it, be, what it means to be a community is something that, that allows for, well, not only reinventing or relearning learning, but completely different understanding of being a community. And here, I'd like to, to end it for the scientific reflection. We may come <clears throat> back to the one or the other question in the further course of the, of the workshop. But here I would love to hand over to Karima Kadawi and the experience of what that process 
becoming a learning community, understanding what it means to be a community, looked, um, lo looked like in the context of Jamkeen and Hai Sutina. And we do not start with the science. We do not start with the community. We start with the experience. And this is where I hand over to you, Karima. Thank you very much. Um, I just want to say how delighted I am. Um, and I'm very grateful to Aziz and to Robin for creating this opportunity with Africa Voices Dialogue um, that has such a potential to create spaces like this where we can try together to, coming from different cultures and, um, and experiences to, to kind of um, meet and look at what there is in the in between what can we um how can we together um start thinking of the unthought of um so it's it's um uh, it's not about uh, this workshop it's not about coming and say oh this is what is happening in Tamkin and and sharing this is what is happening in Tamkin but rather um sharing with you that um, Timkin is um, from the very beginning, a process of inquiry. We started like you started today coming here with a question. Something made you come here, a question. So we started with questions and that questions led us to a learning process. And that learning process led us to today, a process that we feel is more and more what we was talking about and understanding, going into the understanding. And when we get into the realm of the understanding, we cannot do it alone. So this is a wonderful opportunity because in the process that we are facilitating, that we are witnessing and also that we are experiencing, what we are, we are seeing things, um, manifesting a process, manifesting an emergence. Um, and um, to be able to understand it, it's by doing this kind of workshops, by meeting other experiences, by meeting other, other ways of seeing that we will be able to understand our own process. Um, right now, it's, we are at an extraordinary momentum. Um, we are seeing how processes in neighborhoods are connecting between neighborhoods. We are seeing how neighbors are connecting to schools, how teacher networks are connecting, how the education governance bodies um, are connecting um, and connecting on the base of a deeply human relationship and how that makes all the difference. We are seeing today the language of let's humanize our schools. Uh, we are hearing it and seeing it. We are seeing the language. We are seeing the language because we are seeing how the interactions are changing, how, how the relationships are changing. So when, we, when uh, we were proposed to do this workshop, the very first thing we did is go back to what we've always done. We went back to the team and we stopped and we reflected. We're gonna share with people from different experiences, different cultures, different countries. But let's stop a bit and reflect about what is happening here. And um, so we looked at our experience in the light of the community-based learning ex uh, uh, ecosystem. And we reflected on what do, from our experience, what is a community-based learning ecosystem? We stuck to the name to the label, we got lost. We went back to the experience and we found a way. Um, we found a way um, and this is when we said, what is an ecosystem? What we heard an ecosystem is nature, is going back to our nature. What is an ecosystem? We heard is harmony, it's relationship, it's love. It's self-sustaining, it's regeneration. But all those words are not words. Those words come from the experience, what we've experienced. When he says, so what did we learn? So Hisland said, I learned to be in my community. 
and that in my community I learn. We stayed there. And that connects to what Lee was saying. If there's one thing we've learned is to be in our community and that in our communities we learn. The big challenge in this workshop is to be able to talk about something that is so deeply rooted in experience and to be able to share this. Um, how do we create on a virtual platform an experience, something that we can connect to, that all these words that might mean different things for different people, we can actually connect to. So what I propose right now is in a workshop where we have little time is to take the time and we're going to take the time to connect. We're going to take the time to know each other. We're going to take the time to know each other by doing something, is to give the gift of something that is unique to us, which is the gift of our name. We might have the same name, but the meaning of that name changes from person to person. The story of that name changes from person to person. So what we're going to propose to you is to meet in small groups and to give that name, to share the, your name, to share the meaning of that name, to share the story of that name. And when you come to think about it, a name bears your culture, your language, your story, your history, and it probably bears the future with your children. I can say that my name, which is Karima, means generous, and Nargis means narcissus. And that narcissus was given to me by my mother, who was afraid that people, that children would mock my name. That was a story because of KK, meaning in French, not a very nice uh, word. <laughs> so, so my name has that fear. It has the generosity, but it also has that narcissism, that self-awareness that I would love if we could, I'm trying to check the time, it's 6.30. If we could go, we share the name. But I would ask you not to stay there. I would ask you to try to find the connection between those names. What is the connection, the thread between all those names? And once you find the thread between those names to come to the conference, what is the word that talks about that thread? Take the time, especially as we do not have the time to do what is essential to the process of a community-based learning ecosystem, taking the time to connect with each other, deeply human relationships. So I'm gonna ask Aziz if he could facilitate that. Remind you that if please, if Fatima, we can make sure that Fatima and Ashraf are together. I'll remind you also that I, as Robin said, I'm not here by myself. I'm with wonderful team members, there's Hamid, there's uh, Fatima, there's Afslan, there's Yunus who are here with me today. Bilal also is here. Please forgive me if I've forgotten someone. Rashid still hasn't joined in. Uh, Jamila, thank you, Jamila. <laughs> and wh what is wonderful is that Temkin as an organization, we have members in the team that are part, uh, that are members of the different communities we have partnerships with. So the very concept of the inside and the outside is dissolving between the organization and the communities. We become one. Aziz, if we can create the groups of four people. So just to remind, can you please reflect on your name? Take the time, the meaning, the story. If you do not know the meaning, Google it. It's not a problem. If you do not know the story, if you find the meaning, maybe you'll figure out a story. Maybe you'll discover something about your name. Okay. So uh, as uh, Karima said, we are going to send uh, the participants to uh, breakout rooms. Uh, you're going to be with uh, three other people. Uh, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll be back. Karima, how long will that take, please? So we will 15 minutes. 
because for people, the time to find the thread and the confluence. What is that word that is the confluence of that thread? Are you okay with this? Yes, sure. Hmm? Okay. Great. Wonderful. So it takes a few minutes. So four per group, Aziz? Yes. Uh, it would be four to five because, uh, yeah, you cannot, it, it depends on the number of the people we have. Karima, uh, can you hear me? Can you still hear me? Yes. So Fatima, Fatima, and Fatima and Ashraf should be in the same room. Yes. 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 Ashraf. But you're sending Ashraf. me out also. What? You're sending me out into breakout room. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. You're not going to be. You should not be sent out to to the breakout rooms. Because if in uh, in case somebody comes back. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So what you can do is that you can quit the, the breakout rooms. Once you go to the break, breakout rooms, you can quit. Do you Are you going to the breakout room or you're not? No, I, I just need to go around the, each breakout room and see if everything exactly. is Exactly. This is the well, thing. I will do that maybe with you to make sure. I guess if you are a, a co-host, you can do the same thing. Mm -hmm. I can't find, I can't find uh, Ashraf. Mm, uh, is he still here with us? Ashraf? Or, yes. Ashraf Fatima? Fatima, you have to, yeah. Fatima, yeah. she has to join the, the, the breakout room. Yeah, can, there are others who maybe was. So I'm looking for Ashraf. Uh, Ashraf, Ashraf? What's his name? Ashraf what? Buhsini. Buhsini. Mm -hmm. Muhammad Ashraf Muhsini, uh, he, is, he is in room uh, 10. So I have to take you to room 10. So I have to find you okay, and put you in room 10. Okay. Veronique is here, Razouk. Hi, Veronique. How are you? Yeah, later, I will deal with people who are not assigned because uh, there are some people who have just joined. So uh, we're going to send them to breakout rooms later. So here is Fatima. Uh, I forgot the breakout room where, where uh, Ashraf is, 10? 10, 10. 10. Ten. Fatima, I'm seeing. So if we want to write the, the message that you shared, uh, should they uh, kind of reflect on, on their name, what their name means? That's, that's the point, yes? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's still some people in the group. There's T, oh, Ptihej, GT Ptihej. Very nice. Ptihej is a, an inspector. <laughs> Uh, Karima, uh, Fatima, 
she has to click, I think, on a. Okay. Uh, she's fine. She's fine. She's she's. She's done. She's room now. Yes. Tihesh, let's say it. Let's say it, Kalima. Vraiment, I'm very, very happy to be with you. I'm so happy you came. It's wonderful. Look, Marafchi, I don't know if everybody heard what is going to happen now. Uh, we're going to go and break out rooms. The idea is to share your name, the meaning, the story of your name. Uh, take the time to do it. If you cannot, don't know, know the meaning, look for it, Google it. Um, yes. Maybe with the meaning you'll find. Karima? We lost Karima. Yes, we lost you, Karima. So what did you say? Sorry. Um, I thank you, Karima, for the exercise and, uh, because it reminds me the story of my name. Yes, yes. You have a beautiful name. So uh, please do share it. Try to find the connection between all, all the right. stories, the connecting, and then Find the word that talks about that connection, the confluence, the word right. that talks about that confluence. Um, right. Is there a problem, Aziz, for everybody else to, to join in to the different groups? Veronique, it's lovely to, to know that you are with us. Salam alaikum, Veronique. Oh, can you can you send somebody else in the group of Fatima because she's with two? Uh, can you put two more people there in Fatima's group in the group ten? Aziz, can you hear me? The only the only person who is not assigned is is uh, Kabantu Ra. Uh, I don't see the others on the. If you can assign somebody else, because Fat, uh, Ashraf is there okay. to translate. So I'll, I'll choose from, yes, from another group from that another is larger group than, you can take that the, larger than, okay, that is larger than, that is larger than. Because the team member, which doesn't make sense, mm -hmm. really. Mm -hmm. Room 10, yes? Yes, room 10. If you can assign two different people. There's still Veronique and Agnes and okay. Frank here. Hello, Idrissa, welcome. Can you hear us? Is this, I don't know why uh, there are other people. Yes, there are. It's, it's always like this. Sometimes there are people who might uh, be away because they have to accept to join the room. OK, so sometimes there are people. Who, Frank, uh, are you there? I'm hearing you. So if you can join your room, Idrissa, because uh, uh, we assigned you to a room. So let's see what, well, wait. So I, I'll send you to another room, OK? OK, did you check for the room 10? Send you to room 4. Yes, I did. I send you to, I, I send you to room 4, Idrissa. Okay. There's Agnes who's trying to say something. Uh, did, did you send two, two people to room 10? Because it's. There are two people missing in room 10. I sent Melissa. Mm -hmm. If you can send somebody else, it would be great. Oh, because, OK. Because basically, uh, it's Fatima and a team member. <laughs> because Ashraf is there to translate. So. I'm sending uh, Tihej. Can I send Tihej? 
uh, they, Tihej, they know Tihej, if it'd be nice, nice. Or you can send Tihej or send somebody. Yes. From yes. We have, we have uh, Fatima, Hamid, Idrissa, Melissa, and Mohammed Ashraf and Veronique. That's good. Uh, in room 10. That's good. So, uh, <laughs> okay, I'm sending them to room 12. You see, it's good I did not go because so that's uh, because yes. they're communicating with me. Yeah, yeah. Just to make sure. Room nine. Hello. Hello. Yeah, that's a Dr. Abdul, uh, kindly send me back to my room. What is your room? I'm um, room one. Who is this? This is George from uh, Ghana. Yes, I'm trying to do this, but uh, I'm having some uh, problems do, to do it. So George, yes. Okay. I'll assign you to room one. Yes, room one. Yes, I, 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 I just got cut out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sending you back to room one. And do we have Tambu with us? Tambu? No? Tambu? Um, yes, I'm here. Sorry, I don't seem to be able to unmute myself. I don't know that I'm mute. Oh, I'm I'll, send, I'll send you to room two, okay? Okay. Karima, have you uh, watched time or not? You put, 15 minutes. you put the 15 minutes on. Yeah, 15 minutes, so we need to... Uh, How see. much time? We've run for about four to five minutes now. Okay. Mm. Rashid is only... Was, again? Hey, Adlaziz. Uh, okay, you're, you're back, so... Uh, something happened in room 11. I was with Robin and with George, and mm -hmm. suddenly... Um, because you... Uh, I saw only two people in room 11, so I tried to move you to other rooms, you see? So mm -hmm. maybe I'm going to put you back... Uh, I was with Razouk, but Razouk was not responding. Uh, yes, moment. two people were not responding, exactly, yes. Yes. I will put yes. you back. Uh, is it okay if I put you in, in, a, in another room? If you can, with with George was just in a, in the middle of a beautiful story and and uh, George, and, okay, George, George, George Brenya, Brenya, Dankwa, yes, yes, Dankwa, yes, yes, exactly. George Brenya Dankwa is uh, he was in Africa Voices Dialogue Session Two. Interesting, yes. Oh, he's wonderful, George. Yeah, yeah. but I, oh, can, you, I, can, I yeah. hope he's going to share the name, the, the the story of his name. That's just too beautiful. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Hmm. It was just, it was just, just in there, and we, we all. He, yes, he he lost connection because he he came back to me. He said I lost connection. Ah, okay. So see what I can do. Uh, or get me back with Robin because um, we were. Robin we is in room twelve. Okay. So, so I'll so just join room twelve. That's fantastic. To room twelve. Okay. Thank you ever so much. Thank you. You're How does it feel so far, Sebastian? It feels wonderful. I, I totally, I totally, totally enjoyed the exercise. It's so nice. I'll give you, I'll give you feedback afterwards. I'm joining this room now. Okay. okay. Catch you later, Karima. Later. Pleasure.
Hello, everybody. Hello. No, sorry for being late. We are happy you are here with us. Yeah, thank you so much for this uh, great initiative. Thank you, Professor Abdaziz, Karima. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you for coming, Masa. Really thank very wonderful. Thank you. Um, uh, Aziz, are you there? Am I co-host? Co so, Mosab, I don't know if are you are you there or did you join a group? Yes, 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 I am here. I can hear you. You're still here. Okay, you haven't joined the group then. No, I haven't joined it yet. Hmm. Have you been affected the room, given a room? No, not yet. Now it's... Rai, you haven't been affected to a room? Hi Karima, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Hi Karima, it's Tambu. Um, I was assigned to a room, but my computer was locked. I couldn't um, <laughs> click to join the room or whatever. So I'm back. Um, yeah. Okay. I um, have to go out and come back so that I can be able to access. Yes, yes, yes. I'm really sorry. I, I'm, I'm struggling because uh, as he's disappeared, I don't know where he went. <laughs> And he's the one who can assign. I don't seem to be able to assign. I'll, I'll try. I'll try. Did you start the process of sharing? No, I hadn't. I haven't been anywhere. Oh, so sorry about that. OK, so there's you, there's Frank, and there's Tambu. And oh, Mike, Michelle. Hello, Michelle. Uh, we can't hear you, Michel. I need Aziz. I'm going to call Aziz to ask him to, to come. Hello, Karima. <laughs> Hi, Michel. How are you? Very well. And you? Yes. Michel, you were in the last Africa Voices Dialogues, right? Exactly. Yes. Yeah, I remember you. <laughs> yes. So uh, we, we start in 10 minutes or? No. The, what happens is that everybody went to their respective rooms, uh, breakout rooms. And um, so I will tell you what there is, and maybe we can do it together here. Um, you know, this is what happens, and this is when you're a facilitator, you always expect the unexpected. So with the situation you have, what do you do? So the idea is to, sh to share our names, to share our names, which is unique. Even if somebody else is called Michal Malinowski, you are your Michal Malinowski is unique. So to share it with the meaning of Michal and the story. And once you share each one, the meaning and the story to try to find a common thread. And once you find the thread to kind to find uh, the word okay. that is the confluence of that thread. That is the word where, where all meets. So um, that, that is basically which every group is doing because mm -hmm. Although it's a very short workshop, mm -hmm. if there's one thing we do is take the time to know each other, mm -hmm. to take the time to create connection. 
So uh, I do not know how much time is left before everybody comes back, but if you want to try start between Michelle and Tambu, just to um, start the experience. Uh, uh, um, El Buduri, I don't know if you're here with us. Can you hear us? No, maybe not. Ray, are you with us? Right. Oh, great. I can't hear you, Ray. You you you've been muted. Yes, I'm also here. Okay, fantastic. So you heard about what it's all about. And what is wonderful, we all have very different names and our names carry our cultures and language and history. Uh -huh. and uh -huh. So I don't know who wants to start. Uh, mm -hmm. I can start. Yeah. I can start. Uh, Basically, my name is, is Ray Sean, and uh, my name, I don't know the meaning, <laughs> but all I know is that uh, my parents said if I was a girl, they were going to name me Ray Sean. If I was a boy, they were going to name me Sean Ray, and um, because my dad's name is Charnay, and my grandmother um, had... Um, I think she had about 13 or 14 children. And my father was um, the fourth from the youngest. And she knew a man, I think she had admiration for a man named Charnay. And so um, for that reason, um, they gave my father that name and then they decided to name me since I was a girl, Ray Sean. And then the last thing is that my dad has a sister who was a, a year or so older than him. They were very, very close. And her name was Ray. And so he also wanted to name me after his sister who was, a, she loved to read, she was very intelligent. And unfortunately she died uh, as a teenager from a sickness. So in honor of her, uh, they named me after my um, aunt Ray. So I'm named after my father and after my aunt. And that's it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh. So maybe we could look for what Ray means if it has a meaning in itself. But this is a lovely story. It's. Uh... Thank you. Thank you. Tambu. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so my name is Tambu Zai, which is an African name uh, uh, derived from a, um, a Shona, a language in Zimbabwe. And the literal meaning is trouble or no rest, one who causes other trouble. And the inherent meaning is you keep troubling me. Um, and the spiritual connotation of my name is somebody who is diligently seeking God's heart or a revelational knowledge. And that's typically who I am in that regard. And uh, the character and the quality of the name in its meaning is that I strive for excellence. I'm not sure about that yet. Uh, <laughs> analytical, I am. Uh, detail oriented, I try. And uh, I'm quite inquisitive, very energetic. And um, the, na the name in what it resonates for me um, in terms of who I have become and who I'm becoming is about power. And it's a very powerful uh, um, uh, rooted name in who I am and what I believe in. And so, yeah, that's, uh, I could go on, but that's all I'm gonna give it. Um, I was given my, the name by my father, obviously because uh, usually African names always have to have a meaning and it has a meaning with time, it has a meaning with space, it has a meaning with an incident. And I have a feeling that my parents were being troubled by somebody, not necessarily myself. So, but it's a memory of uh, how some uh, parents and not talking to Africa as a country, but to generally uh, groups of people in Africa name their children in about an incident, over an incident, and uh, I was one of those. However, I have reclaimed my name out of that to have it mean what I want it to mean, which is that I'm strong and powerful, inquisitive I am, and um, interested in life. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh. I'm a bit okay. concerned. I think that there's uh, what has happened is quite amazing. Um, the host has gone, been ejected from the session, 
There are people who are trying to come in, I think, and cannot. <laughs> Everybody is in their groups and they can't come back. <laughs> <laughs> So this is really reminds me of the facilitation of community-based learning ecosystems. You know, you mm -hmm. find yourself in situations like that that are quite amazing. Uh, and then you say, so what do you do now? And you just trust the process and the connection that we create together in order together to find a solution and learn from that. So I'm, I'm going to try to call, ah, people are coming back. Aziz is back. <laughs> <laughs> Abdel Aziz, hello. As is, because it's going on for too long. I don't know, it's 15 minutes, and it's more than 15 minutes now that we've been. Uh... As is? As is? Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, th I thought I was, I was, uh, my, my microphone was off. Yes. So I'll send a message. We'll be back now. Yes, please, yeah. because we've way past, I think, the, the sharing time. Because time is moving on. It was Lewis, Lewis, because Lewis told me talk about your name, and I kept talking forever. <laughs> no, I <didn't> do that. <laughs> <You're the host. laughs> so Michel is, is. is the one who hey. has shared his good. name. How are you? Very well. I'm good. You know, I, I I I got missing again. I was I was sent to a different room altogether. <laughs> Michael, I was I was initially. <laughs> Initially, I was with Robin's chat room. Okay, people have come in. You know, they're they're going to come slowly, little That's by little. Okay. Okay. That's okay. I really got myself enjoyed with the other chat room too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sebastian was with you in uh, room one, and he said he was intrigued to to hear about your story, the story of your name. I guess sure. you you got. You get to, to get in touch with him later, maybe, and share with him the story that you started uh, the moment you got disconnected, okay? All right, all right, I'll do thank that. You, thank Thanks you so much. much. This exercise, it seems that as I was uh, going uh, around the rooms, it seems that people enjoyed this discussion and uh, uh, a lot was going on. So I think that people are going to share the experience with you right now. <laughs> I... I uh... I had a moment of, of uh, panic because we went past the 15 minutes. I did not know where Aziz was. I had a group. Uh, it was Louis. It was, you have to blame Louis for that. <laughs> and then I was with Michal, Tambu, and um, um, uh, Rai. And I remember the names because of the stories that I heard. Um, and I said, I do not know what's going to happen with this workshop. And this is exactly what happens when you're facilitating uh, the co-creation of conditions for the emergence of community-based learning ecosystems. You know, to always be ready to expect the unexpected. And uh, so we were like looking at each other and saying, well, we're gonna work this out because we're creating this connection because we are trusting that something is gonna come out of this. And, um, and at the end, it's all about that, about that connection. So, um, so I'm I'm really glad to see you all back, and that you haven't dis disappeared in the ethereal of Zoom, <laughs> never to be seen again. <laughs> and um, it's um, I would um, I'd love to hear the feedback of everyone about how that experience was. It will not be possible to hear that from everyone, but maybe, maybe if we could just reflect, each one of you reflect, take a, a half a minute to say from this experience, what surprised you? What was that surprised you from the experience? And can you please take that words for the ones who were able to to find that word of the confluence of the thread, web of the thread, to, to just to put to, um, on the chat that word and what surprised you. Because from the surprise comes the curiosity, comes the learning, comes something that is stirred up and kind of allures us to know, I want to know more. Something has surprised me. But let's give ourselves the time to actually realize that something has surprised us. And it doesn't need to be big things. Small things 
are usually the ones who are really meaningful. Chris, no problem, just steal it. <laughs> this is not called stealing and community, it's called sharing. <laughs> Karima, do you want people to uh, uh, oh, talk about the experience or just share that on the chat just box? share it. I will read some of this, the mm -hmm. importance of history and aspiration. Mm -hmm. This is a great experience. Yeah, what is interesting, uh, why, why, what I read from uh, uh, Shakri uh, yeah. at the beginning, he said, Philip, Murad, Ibrahim and Shakri are now a powerful brotherhood of humanity. Oh, One. That is so yes. beautiful. So beautiful, yeah. So beautiful. And then, uh, well, someone wants to seal uh, that uh, experience of already. <laughs> so, connection in poetry, two words that resonate. So, group con consciousness is so mm -hmm. easily built. Yeah. And our theme was connection. It was fascinating the common threads and the sense of relationship that emerged. Mm -hmm. And even Ray, who was stuck in the main, <laughs> we were like last minute. Yes, I did feel that connection also, right? I was like panicking, but at the same time feeling very, you know, loved your story. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> the surprise that I'm surprised by the light in each other's eyes. Oh, that's beautiful. I mean, it's, it's, it's wonderful to be able to experience that on a Zoom call. Isn't it amazing how little we need as human beings to feel a deep connection? Hmm. Exactly. And how meaningful it is. Hmm. And thank you so much, Mariette, when you talk a name given with intent. Yes. The concept of intent is so important in this process. In Arabic, it's Nia. We call Nia the intent that's uh, the transcended intent. And that is transcending. This Nia that gives that energy Embedded men. Hmm. Oh, beautiful. Feeling embedded in tradition, in families and communities. Hmm. Yes. Oh, beautiful. I am going to invite right now, after we've experienced that. And what is beautiful is to experience something and to know that somebody else has had the same experience to be bonded by an experience. And once we're bonded by this experience, and it's a deeply human experience, it's something we look for. Not only we look for, but we try to create conditions for others to experience it. And that is the beauty. That is experiencing the beauty of being human, human being. And being able together to create a space for the expression of our humanity. is as simple as that, yet it is so complex. So now I'm going to invite Fatima, who is a community member, who came the first time to Tamkin saying, I would like for the children of my community to experience something that I did, was not able to experience when I was a child. And she started out by creating this, this uh, community initiatives. Then she joined the team. I would like her to come and to share. Today, she's facilitating a process not a simple process with other team members where community, neighborhood communities and schools are becoming one. It is not about sitting around a table as stakeholders. It is about connecting in our humanity and the humaneness that defines us and connects us. Then we feel we are one. She facilitates this connection between neighborhoods facilitates the connection between neighborhoods and schools. And the connection is happening with the governance body who are today within the, at the midst of the corona with all the tension and the pressure, they are allowing for organic processes to grow. The models of governance are slowly shifting because we are able together to see how that deep connectedness changes everything. So Fatima, I, I, uh, Fatima doesn't speak English. We will be translating with Aziz. Um, 
And I'm asking Fatima, can you just please, from that experience of sharing your name with your new community and sharing the story, how do you connect that experience to your experience as a community member and as a facility? Karima, Karima please, Fatima, uh, she isn't here. She has the connection problem. Okay. Maybe she will join us after a few minutes. Okay, no problem. So, Aslam, <laughs> Aslam, if yes, <laughs> I do not need to translate, right, to Aslam? I, I mean, the question. <laughs> so, Aslam is also a community member from the same community, Hezwitina uh, uh, neighborhood. Hezwitina is the, the olive tree neighborhood. So. Um, uh, Absalom has been facilitating processes in schools, in neighborhoods, between neighborhoods, to neighborhoods and schools. And um, he was one of the facilitators of, um, of the workshop that we had at the Ministry of Education that brought in all the top directors and top leadership of the Ministry of the Education. He was there facilitating that workshop, one of the small breakout rooms and talking about a process happening in his in a school and he said you know i came went back to that school as a facilitator and i got kicked out of that school when i was a student <laughs> so Absalem, if you want to if you want to share how was that experience uh, and how do you connect it with your experience as a facilitator Uh, thank you, Karima. Uh, I don't know if I will uh, I will do it in English because uh, maybe this is the first time I will talk in English with all these people. <laughs> so uh, sorry for my mistakes. Uh, uh, so I'm Absalam. Uh, uh, I will talk firstly with the, the, the experience that I have uh, with the uh, Eric and uh, Titus and Jamila. Uh, actually, uh, it's a, a small uh, thing that uh, I didn't uh, I didn't know the meaning for. Uh, maybe Karima, I will do it in Arabic if you want. It's easy. Yes. Yeah. المشارك اللي كان معنا اللي هو تيتوس. وكذلك بان ملي حيت حنا كنا تقاسمنا ومن اللي دخل هو متاخر شويه رجعنا رجعنا باش نسمعوا من عنده هو الحق في ديك اللحظه هذيك ما كنتش سمعتي انا ومن اللي رجعت جبرتهم تقاسموا هما تقريبا بالحق ما ما رجعتش نسقسي المعنى الاسم ديالو هو باش نفهم نكون قادر نفهم الاسم ديالو so because he arrived um, there was a mishap between coming late and ended up that he was never able to go back to him and to say what what is the meaning yeah ودابا ملي خرجنا لهنا باقي كان المهم كنحس بشي حاجه كتقول لي علاش ما سقسيتيش شنو المعنى ديال الاسم ديال تيتو ك كأن بأن كنا في واحد اللحظة اللي مع إيريك ومع جميلة ومع تيتوس كنا خلقنا واحد اللحظة ديال التعارف واللحظة ديال التعلم مع بعضنا فالعدم ديال لو لما ما عرفتش شنو اللي ما خلانيش نرجع ونتقسي على الاسم ديالو حالي حرمت راسي أنا من واحد الفرصة بأن نتعلم شي حاجة من ديك الشيء اللي قاعد يتقاسم معايا تيتوس so he's wondering why he never went back to Titus to actually ask for his name. That we, we created a bond, but he never actually took the time or was able to go back to him to ask the name. He stopped from himself from learning something. This is what we've learned in our community, is that uh, to, to be able 
people to take any opportunity to be able to learn together as a community. بأن معاون عطيتنا كأفرح ديال الجامعة بأن كل ما كنا قادرين نركز على التفاصيل اللي هما بساطة وخصوصا التفاصيل اللي في حريدة حيت المنطلق ديالنا في هذا المسار هذا كان هو هذا بأن أنا نتعرفوا على بعضنا ونعرفوا بعضنا إحنا اللي ولش كون إحنا وإحنا الأفراد ديال الجامعة. So, so uh, it was about learning to know each other and to learn to know about ourselves. هذا كان هو الحاجة الأولانية اللي انطلقنا منها في هذا المسار هذا ديال اكتشاف ديال ديال الجامعة اللي اللي إحنا كان نسمي وليدة اللي كان كيف حال واحد ال المسار ديال الاكتشاف بأن إلا نعرف وش كون حنايا من هذا المسار هذا خلنا نعرفو إحنا شنو نكتشفو الطبيعة ديالنا اللي خلتنا نبقشو إحنا شنو اللي باغي نزيدو نعرفو تفضل كريم So by discovering who we were and discovering who the others were connecting to the others it allowed us to discover what we wanted انطلقنا بأن نكتشف ورسنا بأن ما بقينا شي غير في المحادثات بالحق نكتشف راسنا في التجريب بان خلقوا مبادرات باش نزيدوا نكتشف راسنا ونتعلموا ونطوروا يعني التعلم ديالنا في واحد المحطات اخرى دونك في مبادرات so we did not stay in conversation but discovery we went from conversation to actions انا في حيت انا بدا كيبغي واحد التعلم اللي هو اخر بدينا كنخلقوا ميكانيزميات اللي باش نحقق بحال ديك الاكتفاء ديال التعلم اللي بغينا حنايا and we created mechanisms in the community in order to be able to learn what we want to learn بغينا نتعلموا كيفاش نسيروا العلاقه ديالنا مع بعضياتنا we learn to 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 manage the relationship between us نتعلموا كيفاش نفكروا في المستقبل ديال الجماعه ديالنا we learn to to think about the future of our community نتعلموا كيفاش نسيروا مع بعضيتنا الايقاع ديال بعضيتنا. And we learned to 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 manage the pace of each one of us within the community. وكل هذا بان بالاحترام ديال بعضيتنا كاملين وبال وبالانسانيه ديالنا وبان مع بعضيتنا حنا كانسان ما كيهمش اي واحد بان واش ما, ما كانش بان الشكل ديال بان واش واش قاري ولا ما قاريش ولا الخلفيه ديال كيفاش النيه قدر ما الاهميه ديالك بالتواجد ديالك نتينا كانسان اول what mattered the priority is that we are human being it does not matter whether you know how to read or write or whatever shape you are um, what mattered is that you you we are human beings اللي خلى واحد المسار طبيعي ديال التعلم وديال الاكتشاف ديال الذات اللي مليء بالمحبه والرحمه كريم. Which left a very organic process of learning and discovery and self-discovery um, that was uh, watered with compassion. اللي كنشوفوا دابا بان كي كا آه الاحساس اللي كنحسوا حنايا اللي في العمر ديالنا 27 عام هو نفس الاحساس اللي كنتبادلوه مع اطفال اللي في العمر ديالهم ثلاث سنين وعامين و و خمس سنين ما بقاتش في اللغه اللي هي غير في الكلام ولكن حتى في اللغه ديال القلب هي نفس اللغه so the, the, the feelings that we feel and the, the language that we talk uh, like I'm 27 years old is the same than the, the language of the 3 year old خلانا حتى نتعلموا نقلقوا اللغه ديالنا في التواصل ونوحدوا هذه اللغه هذه And we learned to create the language, a new language of communication, and it's a unifying language. I'm sorry, when I get emotional hearing a slam, I just translating becomes difficult for me. <laughs> like uh, he is uh, kind of uh, capitalizing on the uh, this experience as an opportunity for learning. So uh, his existence and work with uh, Tamkin community has been a, uh, a journey for uh, of learning and an opportunity for learning, mainly. Yeah. 
And this yeah. is Karima. Yeah. Fatima is here with us, uh, Karima. I'd love to hear from Fatima. The thing well. is, thank you, Abdullah. We have very little time, so we have to agree together what we want to do because the idea was to have questions. Um, I would love to hear Fatima also. I never get tired of hearing. I, I uh, guess, uh, personally, I guess you give her uh, about uh, three to five minutes nonstop relentlessly. She talk, and you and I can work the, the translation later. Okay? So she can just tell us about her experience. Fatima, uh, yes. Yes. فاطمة فاطمة غادي نعطيوك ثلاثة حتى لخمسة دقائق ياك باش تهضر على ليكسبيريونس ديالك ولكن ولكن عطينا العصارة ديال ليكسبيريونس العصارة ديال التجربة ديالك ياك العصارة فغيمون العصارة باش حنا نترجموها I just want to add something فاطمة اسمح لي that something that Absalom said that was really important he said whatever happens has different shapes but the essence is the same exactly thinking about his community Fatima? Um, Safi Kelly, yeah, make some Welcome, everybody. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, everybody. Um, he had that hack that. بدأت بمرحبا. It started with مرحبا. Welcome. تبدأت بدأت في الحي ديالي مرحبا وبدأت في هذا التمرين مرحبا. It started in my neighborhood. مرحبا and it started in in this workshop with مرحبا. مرحبا. التمرين اللي عملنا هو واحد النموذج مصغر على اللي على اللي وقع في الجماعة. So the exercise uh, li, li, small example, small model of what happened in the neighborhood. Radi smah li radi radi ntar wakaflik ula kitsta dal tar tqol. Ma kain ishkal yek. La 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 kemel kemel kari ma lisa hal ali. Ntar jumt. Okay. Um, fi tmrin kan al hiss al ktishaf, wal hiss dal khawf, al khawf dal lugha. In the exercise, wal hiss al ktishaf. There was, a, the, there was this discovery, the wanting to discover, and there was also the fear, the fear of the language. That's what her experience in this exercise. Uh, على بال في الاول صعب عليا نقراه بالحق في التمرين تعلمت نقول هذا الاسم هذا كنقول واش هو الاسم الذكر او الاسم ديال الانثى so we were three moroccans and and two 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 different nationalities she said melissa she saw her but veronique she had no idea whether it was a, a man or a woman she did never knew that name before so she discovered the name during the exercise um, بالحق مي سمعت صوت عرفت بان هي انثى اللي كان شنو اللي كان كان بان نعطيو الوقت باش نعرفو بعضنا نعطيو الوقت باش نسمع بان هذيك واش مراه ولا اولا راجل كان عندي الحس ديال الخوف تبدل وصبح الحس ديال الاستمتاع ملي عرفت القصه ديال الاسم ديال ميليسا وهادشي هدايا المعنى ديال الاسم ديال ميليسا وهذا هو اللي وقع في الجماعه so um, we took the time to hear each other, to listen. It was allowed me to know when I heard Veronique's uh, voice that she was a woman and not a man. Um, she, she, she got um, overjoyed when she heard the story of Melissa. And this is what happened in the community. And in the community, I was in the community, what happened in the community, and what happened in the community. In the end, we were one of us. There was no faith. هو اللي حاضر بقوة ما كانش للثقافة ما كانش الخلفيات بقدر ما كان إحنا إنسان في النهاية واحد وكل واحد بالاختلاف دياله هو مكمل للآخر. 
So we, we I found myself in, uh, in the group as I find myself in my community. There was no longer a difference in culture and religion. At the end, we were one. So the, this in my neighborhood, um, we discovered each other, we worked together. Um, we did not learn, we, we, we did not realize we were learning, that we had the joy of learning. We, we discovered that we were, um, that we shared a place, that we shared a time, uh, 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 and we shared um, a nature, a being. Well, uh, uh, just one, one, one more, one more thing. Maybe at the beginning, because Fatima said that uh, uh, we we learned we learned to work, listen, and be patient. We learned to work with each other. We learned to be patient, and we learned to to understand each other. This is interesting. And then she said that uh, we enjoyed learning. We enjoyed working with each other and learning, and we we we, we respected each other. Yes. So. Thank you, Rezaan. <laughs> 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 ماشي ماشي في في الحي بالحق كبرنا في التعلم جبرنا بان احنا يا ملي في وسط الحي كاينه فرق كبير وكاينه فرحه كبيره بالتعلم وكاينه استمتاع قوي بالتعلم امم ا الاستمتاع كريمه كريمه if you don't mind uh, can i can i do it this time Please just do. give you some some, some rest Please do. Please do. Yes, well, the focus, the focus was more on, on uh, uh, the, that thing that brought them together in the neighborhood to learn with each other. Uh, and they found out that there is that one thing that brings them together, that is to stay to work together towards the common good. Uh, so everyone at the beginning was his, in his own environment. Uh, but uh, then they discovered that there is one environment that, that brings them all together as a neighborhood. The neighborhood was not... Uh, the most important thing. What was important is that they got to, they got together and they learned from each other and they worked together. That was the most important thing. I, I, think, I think Fatima. I think that is. بالحب ومن أجل الحب وبالحب كان كل شيء. هذا كان المفتاح. وبه وصلنا من المدرسة. By love, by love, by love. Yeah. So that was. <laughs> I love your excited excitement, uh, Fatima. Okay, can you translate that last part? I think that that was. Uh... She said. She said that uh, we they did that. They did that all that by love, through love, and for love. So I guess this is the most important thing to to get from her message. Thank you, and, Fatima. And it was with that that they reach the school they went to the school ah, yes yeah because there was the important thing is that the how they saw the community just grow grew um the, not the neighborhood as such but the but the community the environment the, the community just started growing um and we learned and we learned with joy and we learned the opportunity of learning 
Fatima, thank you so much. Thank you. That was just beautiful. And um, I, I shared it in the chat group, but I think that my experience, we had a brief preparatory meeting a couple of days ago and uh, Fatima and Abdel Salam were on the call. And it was this incredible sense of understanding each other beyond the fact that we didn't understand each other. So how how when you actually are able to connect with your hearts because you're passionate about something and, and uh, you can connect at a, at a level of love, um, the language just falls away. So how, you know, there are ways to speak to each other that transcend those kinds of barriers. Um, so what we would like to do now and uh, we, we, we are kind of short on time, so we'll keep it shorter than we had intended, but maybe have five or 10 minutes where we can just um, maybe just firstly ask for your permission because it will take us 10 minutes over, but just have five or 10 minutes where anybody who has a question that they would like to po pose. So ask a question to Karima, to Louis, to Fatima, to Abdul Slam. Um, just put their name, if it's a specific person you want to ask, up front, write your question, and we'll keep an eye out for them. Um, if anybody has a question they'd like to ask immediately now, and they're happy to just put their hand up, we'll look out for that and just uh, and, and invite you to, to speak in person. Eric? It's a question, it could be to either Fatima or Abdusalam. What was the spark that encouraged you to involve yourselves in this initiative? What was it inside you that said, yes, I really need to be part of this? فيكم اللي جعلت تقولوا بأن إحنا يبغينا نتمي بهذا الشيء، إحنا يبغينا نكونوا في هذا الشيء. اسمح لي كريمة عاود سؤال إذا كان ممكن. شو نهاية ذيك الشعلة؟ الحاجة اللي جعلت بأن تقولوا إحنا يبغينا نكونوا في هذا الشيء هذا. بغينا ن. كريمة. والمسار المسار مختلف بالحق بالنسبة للي اللي خلاني يقول بأن نخسني يكون في هذا الشيء هو بدأ بالفضول بالاكتشاف بدأ بالفضول الفضول جاب معه الاستمتاع الاستمتاع جاب معه الاكتشاف الذات بأن هي كتعلم وبأن كنا واحد الشمس كضوي بعد الجوانب اللي داخل اللي كانوا ما كانوا ما واضحينش وحاجات أخرى هذه هذه الشمس هذه اللي ضوات خلت اللي كيدوروا بيهم ضويين بأن هي العلاقة الأخذ والعطاء الاعتراف ومن اللي كان هذا الأخذ والعطاء الاستمتاع الاعتراف التعلم البناء في النهاية ما كانت شيء واحد اللي اللي ما كانش كاين شيء واحد اللي مستفيد كتر من المعني بالأمر أنا تعلمت تعلمت من الأطفال تعلمت من سا تعلمت على رأسي أولا سنين وأنا ما كان عرفت شيء واحد من الحومة ديالي بالحق الحومة خلقت لي الضف باش نعرفها أنا بلا ما كنتش كان عارفة وأنا أول ناس اللي ستكونوا في الحي أوكي أنا سأفعل she said the curiosity it started all with curiosity and the curiosity that brought the joy and the joy that brought the discovery of the self and then there was a sun that lit, lit things inside me and um, that I could not see and then when I could see them it lit the ones around me um, فاطمة من قلتي عبرتي على العطاء 
شنو قلتي العطاء وشنو اخر؟ She said the sharing uh, and acknowledgement. Acknowledgement. So there was a sharing. There was a and there was a, a, a recognizing. Recognition. Uh, she said, I learned, I learned with my community, I learned with the children, I learned with the women, the mothers in the community. She said, oh, when I, at first, I knew no one in my neighborhood. Karima, mm. uh, if uh, وما كنتي قاعدين بحث على مرحبا بالانجليزيه هي ويلكم ايفريبادي سو ان سي سيد اف ات وازنت فور ذيس كوميونيتي هير شي وودنت لوك فور ذا وورد فور ويلكم ان انجلش اند شي وود نوت نو هاو تو سي ويلكم ايفريبادي سو فاطمه از كابيتالايزين اون ليرنينغ هاو كوميونيتي كان بيلد ليرنينغ شكرا فاطمه عبسلام بغيتي تجاوب باختصار انا اختي صار شديد صراحه بان الفتره يعني كنت تذكر لحد الساعه اللحظه اللي اندمجت فيها في هذا المسار هذا بان ما كنتش عارف بان هذا الشيء غادي يوصل لنا هذه اللحظه فقط بديت صافي حسيت بان عملت في ذيك اللحظه لان هذه كانت الطبيعه ديالي بان نعمل ذيك الحاجه اللي خصها تعمل في ذيك اللحظه هذيك انا جاوا عندي اصدقاء ديالي عرضوا عليا نعمل معاهم شي حاجه نمشي تعمل في ذيك الساعه انما ما ما خديتش شي وقت باش نفكر بانه واش غادي تخدم ولا ما غادي تخدم دونك من بعد تفكير دابا اللي كنفكر بان بالفعل حيت عملتها حيت كان كن كان دابا كنقول بان غادي نتعلم منها شي حاجه دونك في ديك اللحظه ما فكرتش بها ما كنتش واعي بها الحق دابا وعيت بها It's, um, I started because I just did At the time, I was not aware that I was going to learn anything. That was, it was about learning. Now I am. That is beautiful. Any one last question before we, before we move into our closing out? What, what I would... Did somebody want? No. Uh, so Karima, what I would love is just for you to very briefly, just give us a sense of what is shifting in the Moroccan education system as a result of Tamkeen. Because I think this, this type of work, it's not easily incorporated into a bureaucratic system. Um, because it's not seen necessarily in the same way as policies and procedures and curriculum are seen. And I just think it would be extremely valuable for us to hear from you what's happening in Morocco with regards to this extraordinarily human process towards transform transforming education. Mm -hmm. I, I would go first to the question, what is shifting as a result of Temkin. I think uh, what is happening is as a result of trusting our human potential, starting to see things that we were not able to see before. And that is the Temkin approach. It's not as a result as the Temkin, the institution mm. or the team or the organization or the methodology or the, but much rather um, the trust and the human potential the love that Fatima was talking about. And organizations might be what they are, but at the end of the day, they are made of human beings. And when we connect as human beings to human beings, we recognize something that is deep inside us. And when we recognize that, and we start finding the words for it, and we start learning to create conditions to be able to experience that connection. And then we realize, as Yuna said, this university student, when he said, well, what I learned is that what has the, great, the greatest value is the human relationship. And when I give that value to the human relationship, then I can achieve any objective. So the shift 
there's a shift of the focus of attention. What do I value? And when I change what I value, something else silently, deeply is changing at the same time. Because what, what I value is only but a reflection about how I see my own value as a human being. And that is my whole sense of self that is being weaved with different threads, that is returning to locus of value, recognizing the humanity that connects us and defines us. And learning to express the beauty of that humanity. Beautiful, thank you. Hmm. Let's just take five seconds to percolate. So, Karima, would you like to make your final invitation for the chat group for those who are still with us? before we close. Yes, I would like you, as we asked at the beginning, Robin, you asked the question, you're coming in, how are you coming in to this workshop? I'd like to just ask you, how are you leaving this workshop? What would be the word that would express that? And that is a moment of reflecting, letting things sit a bit and taking the time and just finding the word and I'm deeply, deeply, deeply grateful for all of you to be here. Uh, what has happened here today has already impacted what is happening over here in Morocco. And it doesn't take much. Little things make big differences. Thank you. So just take two or three seconds and just find it in yourself. What is it that you're feeling as we close? And if you can just pop it into the chat for us, please. Thank you. So beautiful, beautiful words. Um, really wonderful. And um, I, I would just like to add okay. that we have with us Tihej, who is an inspector of the education system. And Tihej is the one who told me that when we see the light in the children, in our schools, then they learn to shine it. Tihej is a living example of how the education system in our country is changing. And I'm very, very grateful that she's here with us today. And I'm very honored to have her here with us today. So I don't know, Tihej, if you want to put your camera on, so just so that we see you. But she's really the example. Because when the inspection of the education system changes, brings new relationships to directors, to teachers, fear starts to dissolve. And once fear dissolves, love emerges so i don't know if you hear me tihej i saw your comment maybe she's not hearing me right now thank you karima thank you no yeah. are you hearing me yes can you hear me yes can you put the camera on yes thank you thank you <laughs> thank you karima for uh, your beautiful uh, words i uh, um, i apologize for my uh, bad english but uh, uh, i'm always glad to be with you um, you learn me how to be human at school it's um, to have uh, this uh, this light to see the light 
in schools. I am thankful and I will always be thankful for you for changing my mind, for changing my uh, way of expecting, uh, of my my way of uh, doing my job. Um, uh, that's all. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. We've learned so much from you, and it's a real honor. <laughs> so. Thank you, everybody, for being here with us today. Uh, it's been really wonderful to find a brand new community of amazing, remarkable people across the globe. Um, and we've really enjoyed being in your presence. I think each of us have enjoyed being in each other's presence. Um, we really do want to... So, so Africa Voices Dialogues we really looking to stimulate conversations between our educators, specifically on the African continent, but also with those beyond the African continent who care about this continent and conversations between real people. And what we are looking to create is the sense of near, the intention of being together and of creating a space for our stories to be seen, heard and loved and for us to connect and for us to create the bonds, the mycelium of connections, the bonds across our continent that will raise, raise our continent. Um, and it's just been wonderful to be in conversation with Karima, with Louis, with Fatima, with Abdelsam, and with all of those, all of you who've joined us today. Um, we would love to run, so we'll be in conversation with Karima because we believe that running these experiential opportunities around building community-based um, learning ecosystems is quite powerful because you actually can't do something until you've had an experience and it takes so little to do it. It's actually the most humble process. It's not about a clever methodology. It's just about the will to be brave and be vulnerable with another group of humans. Um, and so we'd love to run more of these workshops in addition to our normal kind of Africa Voices Dialogue series. Um, but just to say thank you again, Karima, Louis, Fatima, Abdelsam, and your entire team. It's been a beautiful period with you. Could we maybe all just those who can, so I know bandwidth issues are a problem for some, but those who can pop your camera on so that the, the remaining 35 of us here can uh, have a quick picture together and take your microphones off and just greet each other and say goodbye. Um, it's been wonderful, wonderful having you here. Hope that you may join us for the Africa Dialogue session that's coming up on the 12th of December, which is gonna be hosted by Egypt. Um, and basically we, yeah, we, we, we hope it would be wonderful to be in conversation with you all again. Cameras on, mics off, and let's just greet each other. Bye. 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 Yes. Bye. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Fatima. Thank you, Absalam. Thanks, everybody. Thank you for coming. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. We engage with each other to learn. This is the, the objective. So we engage with our communities to learn about ourselves first. Yeah. Sooner or later, I will learn Arabic and French. Allez, au revoir. Salam alaikum. Chivi diamo. Bye. Adios. 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 Bye. 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 Robin? Yes.